Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is an open vlog to Dallas Chief of Police, Chief David Brown. And I'm going to discuss what's on everybody's minds right now, the massacre in Dallas, Texas. Now, I have some sympathy Definitely, for those who say the cops are corrupt, yeah, there are corrupt cops. I'm not disputing any of that. I'm going to share a little story before we get to the main part of this. And I'm also going to offer my condolences, by the way, to the families of the slain cops and the ones who are injured and so forth. But here's my little story, just to show you that I understand there is some serious problems. This incident occurred in the Marketplace Mall years and years ago uh, when I was working there. Marketplace Mall in Henrietta, New York. And I was sitting in the John at the time, basically, and there was a deputy security and a black suspect in all the room and I can tell you what I heard I didn't see anything I heard shouting and uh, fighting and then I heard a loud bang later on I heard that the uh, cop had taken his nightstick and beat the tar beat the uh, black suspect alongside the head. That's what I heard. Hearsay, of course. But I did, he I did hear the loud bang. So I understand why people are angry, cops. I know there's corruption. I've had to deal with it myself. Monroe County is a very, very corrupt county cops uh, there's no doubt about that anyway but I'm really not uh, talking about that my microphone's being uncooperative I'm really not talking about that uh, my point here is you're not telling public truth You see, I just cannot believe that anyone would buy this line. That there was only one shooter there. Unless your cops are as inept as the Keystone cops of these old black and white films. Then you can make that claim, but I honestly don't believe that. One shooter manages to shoot. 12 cops and not one of them hits him with a bullet I'm sorry I don't believe it but this has become a familiar pattern anyway the media cannot bring it upon themselves to tell us the truth well they don't know the truth they've become pathological liars ABC NBC CBS CNN, you name it, Fox, the pathological liars. Same narrative virtually every time. Except with Cleveland Harris and Sam Bernardino. In one case, it was a couple of brothers, and, or I just friends, not brothers. Other case, supposedly a husband and wife team. I've already debunked the San Bernardino one. There were so many problems with the pictures, I couldn't count them. I found one problem after another. I tried getting that on the radio with a local uh, talk show host who years ago was put through literally a brainwashing camp because he got into a fuss fight. He got suspended from WHAM. He got in a fuss fight with a former 
mayor of uh, Rochester, Bill Johnson, who took offense because he called, said that uh, Lonsberry made some comment about monkeys and he thought it was uh, racist, which is BS. Anyway, but Lonsberry was sent to a pro uh, deprogramming camp, and when he came back, he was a liberal, a liberal's liberal, basically. I tried putting that uh, the evidence on his show about uh, the San Bernardino shooters and how the pictures were fake. Well, they wouldn't, he wouldn't listen. He was sent to a re-education camp. Now, I remember it clearly. This really isn't about that. This is about the media and the government media complex distorting the facts. Now, if you're a chess player and you honestly believe that one shooter could have done this then don't take me on in a chess game because I will destroy you. You will lose the game. Because one doesn't go after the other player with a queen alone and they have rooks and bishops and knights. It just doesn't happen. So... Where does that leave us? It leaves us with a media and apparently a police officer, chief of police of Dallas, who won't be honest with the public. And this is my problem. Now you have it uh, within you, sir, to be honest with the public. You see, I was listening to live reports of this. Excuse me on Coast to Coast AM by a simple quirk of fate it so happened that I was uh, driving home from working overtime and I was listening to this and going, what's going on? It sounds like Dallas is being taken over by foreign troops. And I heard there was at least four shooters and other shooters taken into custody and that Another one was held, holed up someplace. Then all of a sudden, the next day, it's one shooter. Now, how can that be? Well, it can't. That's the truth. This is utterly preposterous to think that 12 of Dallas's finest can be shot cut down by gunfire, and not one of them returns fire and hits the uh, so-called solo animal, solo shooter, solo gunman. Preposterous, absurd, ridiculous. I, I, I honestly feel sorry for anybody who believes this. I'm sorry, it just won't wash. Now, media, ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, Fox, you name it, the alphabet media is full of pathological liars. This is, uh, who was it, was it uh, Eisenhower said we were the, well, no, it was military industrial complex. Uh, there's a government media complex that is, corrupt, and wicked and evil, and they lie constantly to the public. These people are such, are pathetic, but they always follow the same narrative. If it's Muslims, we don't know what the motivation was. That's, they're covering basically for radical Islam. In this case, they're covering for what? Black Lives Matter. They're the ones who organize this whole event. 
And since nobody knew where the frayed route was, there was no one who could have planned this in this detail. I'm sorry. You start shooting, you're going to get whacked. That's the way it is. So the public is being lied to, sir, and I don't appreciate it. You have it within you to put this on hold and tell the public the truth. This is what I'm asking you to do. Tell us the truth of what exactly happened. Now, in the case of a white, a white guy, let's look at Dylan Roof, who is accused of killing nine church-going blacks. They love that guy. Look at everything the liberals have been able to ban. You see, in, if it's a white guy, then every organization under the sun gets blamed, except for the white, the, uh, white guy. Notice that every organization, including KKK, uh, uh, who knows, whatever, neo-Nazis, they all got blamed. Uh, ordinary white gun, uh, gun owners, we got blamed. Everybody got blamed. They love Dylan Roof. He is a hero to the wacky nutcase left. They love that guy. Uh, compare that to Timothy McVeigh, who they uh, executed. He, Timothy McVeigh knew some things that people didn't want to hear. They didn't want people to hear this. And see, I said at the time, when I saw that uh, Oklahoma City bombing, I said, that looks like Hamas. It's the first thing out of my mouth. Mouth Looks like Hamas did it. And there are people who say this was Hamas. So they had to get rid of Timothy McVeigh before somebody got a hold of some information from his mouth, which would be uh, highly uh, damaging to the government. Okay, be that as it may. So now we have another so-called lone gunman scenario. They also love the returning army vet. Because what is the one thing the liberals want to do? They want to take away the gun rights, especially of... Uh, veterans and this guy was returning army vet so they love it. they love it so they're blaming gun owners Hillary Clinton has openly blamed whites everybody everything except the so-called shooter which I don't believe was one person I will not accept it I'm very sorry it's a lie these people in the media have become such pathological liars, it's just beyond belief. And this is what I'm asking you to change. You sir, sort of have it within you, I believe, to tell the public the truth. And you should tell the public the truth. You know, all you gotta do is say, look it. Yeah, uh, we had these shooters, these shooters, these people are in custody. And most importantly, this one can be legitimately blamed on Black Lives Matter. Well, there goes artifacts again. Yeah, well, Black Lives Matter has been well known for organizing parades uh, down Main Street, uh, threatening cops, and nothing is done about it. Then I'm expected to believe that they're a bunch of peaceful protesters. When they're saying, uh, let's wrap the pigs in a blanket and fry them or whatever they say. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. I think Black Lives Matter is completely behind it. They are not innocent and their leaders should be rounded up and arrested. This was an obvious setup right from the start. And listening coast to coast AM in the middle of the night, uh, you know, I heard first-hand accounts of what was going on. Or at least 
you know, really good on the ground spot type of accounts where multiple shooters were involved and from different angles. Then the media changes the story right away to one shooter. Unacceptable in the extreme. Like I said, they're pathological liars. And you, sir, like I said, you have it within you to change the narrative and put these people on the spot and say, no, you're lying to the public. This is not acceptable. We're going to tell you, the public the truth. This is what I'm asking you to do. Just tell us the truth. Do I buy this story about uh, that Micah Johnson? No. I do not. And I will not believe it no matter what. It's just been too much of this lying going on. It's lie, 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 lie. These people in the media have no honesty. They have no decency. They have no integrity. You know, Donald Trump was right. He uh, took, who was it? I don't think of the name in, the, in a minute, but uh, Donald Trump basically took him on and said, you know, we don't trust, people don't trust people in the media, and that's true. I forget what, what the guy's name was. I'll remember it sometime. No, sir, I don't believe the story. And there's no reason to. It's a lie. Now you have the opportunity to get on the bully pulpit and tell the public what really happened. And this is what you should do. Once again, I extend my sympathies to the cops, families of the cops, and uh, two civilians who were sh uh, shot. And I think that you have to tell the public the truth. No one has hands or butts about it. Don't give us any more bullshit about one uh, shooter. I, for one, won't believe it. I've completely tuned out media. I'm tired of the lying. They are pathological. This is what, the way the Nazis were. They lied constantly. National Socialists in Germany. This is one of their hallmarks, is they lied constantly. You can get the truth on no matter what. Same thing with our media today. Anderson Cooper was one that Trump scolded. I enjoyed that. So <laughs> people don't trust you people anymore. And it's the truth. We don't. And this is the reason why. It went longer than I wanted to, but this just takes time. So in summary, uh, uh, Chief Brown, it's up to you to tell the public the truth. To hell with this lone gunman scenario. I was listening to it. The place was being taken over by somebody, I don't know who. And now we get this line of BS that it was only one shooter. Right, 12 cops and not one of them hit someone with a slug? Give me a break. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. And it's up to you to tell the truth. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching.